Today we are going to talk about the chemical properties of oxygen gas. There are some important chemical properties which are asked in examination frequently and we have to remember this. First, we have to remember the reaction with metal. You can say this way, sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, this metal bonds in oxygen or in air and gives metallic oxide. Just like this, this is sodium, if bonds in oxygen or in air, then it forms sodium oxide, NaO oxygen. Valency 2 should be given to sodium. Sodium 1 should not be given to oxygen because oxygen itself is 1. Okay, oxygen here 1, here 2. That's why I can take here 2. 2 to the 4 sodium here. In the same way, potassium also reacts with oxygen while burning in oxygen to form potassium oxide. <coughs> and this is the reaction and calcium reacts with oxygen while burning and it forms calcium oxide oxygen 2 that's why 2 here and if we take 2 here balanced now magnesium also reacts with oxygen when magnesium bonds in air with bright frame these all bonds in air with bright frame and they form magnesium oxide look at this is the balanced equation this is the reaction with metal we have to remember this number two non-metals like carbon sulfur phosphorus etc bonds in air or in oxygen to form non-metallic oxide like this this can be remembered as reaction with non-metal with non-metal If carbon bonds in air, then it forms carbon dioxide. In the same way, if sulfur bonds in air or in oxygen, it forms sulfur dioxide. And uh, another one we can take phosphorus. If bonds in oxygen, then it forms phosphorus pain to oxide. So our balance of oxygen is 2 and phosphorus is 5. That's why I exchange this. Now, how to balance this? These two are balanced oxygen 5 here to if we take here 5 to the 10, if we take here 5, 2 to the 4, this way we can balance. Reaction with non-metal. This is another uh, chemical property of oxygen. Now, we can talk about the hydrocarbon also. This also comes under the chemical properties. Now, hydrocarbon also bonds in air and forms carbon dioxide, water and heat energy. Reaction with hydrocarbon. Reaction with we have to remember this. Now we can take hydrocarbon like methane. Methane, if bonds in air, it bonds with bright frame, and what it forms, it forms carbon dioxide and water. And lot of heat energy also produces energy okay we can balance this equation this way here if we take 2 and then 2 here 2 to 4 oxygen 4 hydrogen okay now another hydrocarbon we can take ethene or ethylene when it reacts with oxygen when it bonds in oxygen then what forms the product is same it forms carbon dioxide it forms water and energy produces and in this process lot of energy is produced we can balance this equation this way if we take here two then we have to take here also two and if we take here three three to the six two to the foot and two six and this is balanced chemical equation this is the reaction with hydrocarbon now let's talk further there are other chemical properties also before other chemical properties we can add something more with this hydrocarbon also Some hydrocarbon is organic compound that's what we can say uh, like organic compound like carbohydrate ethyl alcohol oil petrol wax etc also bonds in air and forms carbon dioxide this is also the chemical property but uh, the reaction is a little vast that's why we, i'm not giving here 
Now another process. Let's talk about another point number four. In the process of respiration, you have to remember respiration. In the process of respiration, oxygen reacts with glucose contained in the cells with the help of biocatalyst to release energy. That's why we can write this way glucose C6 S12 O6 C6 S12 O6. This is glucose, and glucose when reacts with oxygen in the presence of biocatalyst. And what it forms exactly? It forms carbon dioxide gas and it forms water. These are byproducts actually. We are interested with energy only. In the process of respiration, we get energy. This energy is utilized for different physical activities of the animals also and it occurs in plants also. Okay, here carbon is 6. That's why if I take here 6, 6 to the 12 and if we take here 6, 6 to the 12 and 6, 18. And that's why if I take here 6 to the 12 and 6, 18 and hydrogen is 12. This is the chemical reaction which represents the respiration process. Now, let's talk about another chemical property. We can say that during lightning, all of we know about the lightning. During lightning, oxygen of atmosphere combines with nitrogen at about 3000 degrees Celsius to form nitric oxide. We have to remember lightning. In this process, what happens? Nitrogen of atmosphere reacts with oxygen. I mean to say combines with oxygen at very high temperature. The, during lightning, it uh, reaches to 3000 degrees Celsius temperature also. And it forms nitric oxide. This is one of the very important process, natural process, in which nitrogen combined with oxygen, later it, uh, it comes to soil and forms nitrate. And this nitrate is taken up by the, or absorbed by the plants in making protein. And that's why this natural phenomena is very, very important. And that's why I'm uh, talking about this as chemical property of oxygen. Nitrogen combines with oxygen during lighting to form nitric oxide. This is one of the important um, chemical property. Now there is another method also by which uh, this oxygen combines with some of the metals and the, uh, one of the important process is roasting and oxygen reacts with iron. Remember this roasting, oxygen actually reacts with iron without heating. Without the heating process, oxygen reacts and in this process water acts as catalyst and iron oxide forms. And iron oxide forms and certain number of molecule of water also is attached with this uh, ferric oxide and this is rust. And This is the process of roasting. Iron reacts with oxygen in the presence of water to form rust, that is ferric oxide. And uh, this is one of the important chemical property of oxygen. Okay, these are some important chemical properties of oxygen gas. You can remember with the help of this heading also reaction with metal, non-metal, hydrocarbon and respiration process, lightning and roasting. Okay, beside this, there are other property also, but these are uh, important among all. So, this much for today.